In this video, we're going to cover placement of an iliosacral screw in S2 in a patient who has already had an S1 transsacral screw placed. In this image, the C-arm is in an outlet position. The guide wire has already been placed. The technician rolls the C-arm over to an inlet to reveal position of the guide wire in S2. The wire is then advanced into the body of S2. The C-arm is then rolled over into a down the wing view so that the guide wire can be measured. The surgeon passes a measuring stick over the S2 guide wire and then measures the length of the screw. and then the screw is placed over the guide wire into S2. The S2 screw is already uh, inside the pelvis here, seen on the outlet. You roll the C-arm back over to check the position on it down the wing view. You can see that the screw head is seated up against the lateral cortex of the iliac wing. And then the C-arm is rolled over to an inlet. You can see the position of the threads in the S2 body. You again check it on the outlet. The S2 screw is a little close to the S1 foramen on the right. And then the guide wire is removed.